Broken Barrel Whiskey, the cask of Amontillado. Welcome to another episode of Airquake Whiskey Studies, and in this video, I'm gonna do a review of the Broken Barrel Whiskey, the cask of Amontillado. But before we get into this, we need to learn a little bit about Amontillado. Amontillado is a fortified wine made from Palomino grapes, named after the Montilla region of Spain, where the style originated in the 18th century. Amontillado is a very unique wine due to its dual aging process, both biological and oxidative. First, it undergoes biological aging like a Fino and Manzanilla, and it is fortified to approximately 13.5% alcohol, with a cap of floor yeast limiting its exposure to the air. Second, the wine undergoes oxidative aging in a period in which the floor disappears and the wine is exposed to oxygen. A cask of Fino is considered to be a Montiato if, one, the layer of floor fails to develop adequately, two, the layer of floor is intentionally killed by additional fortification, or three, the layer of floor is allowed to die off through non-replenishing the wine in the cask in the Solera. Once the layer of floor is gone, the Amontillado must be fortified to approximately 17.5% alcohol so that it does not oxidize too quickly. After the additional fortification, Amontillado oxidizes slowly, exposed to oxygen through the slightly porous American oak cast and gains a darker color and richer flavor than Fino. It is in a Solera fractional blending system for about 12 years. Amontillado is characterized by being darker than Fino, but lighter than Oloroso. The Broken Barrel Whiskey, the cask of Amontillado, is bottled by infused spirits. It's a blend of 12-year-old light whiskey and a five-year-old Kentucky corn whiskey with a mash bill of 95% corn and 5% barley, aged in new charred oak, used oak, and finished in ex Amontillado staves. It's bottled at 55% alcohol by volume with a release of 6,000 bottles and sells for anywhere between $45 and $55. So you may be wondering, what is a light whiskey? One, it's made from grain distilled between 160 and 190 proof. Two, it's aged in used or uncharred new oak barrels. If it contains less than 20% straight whiskey, it is a blended light whiskey. So since this is made with corn, you might wonder, well, what's the difference between a light whiskey and a bourbon? Um, a bourbon has to be distilled at less than 160 proof and has to be aged in new charred oak. Other than that, potentially this could be very much like a bourbon. Of course, a bourbon also can't have any artificial coloring or uh, any other added flavoring to it. So on the nose, having said that, it comes across, if you're doing it blind, very much like a bourbon, but it doesn't have as huge an impact of the sort of overdose of vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, and those baking spices. It, 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 it has those characteristics, but just not as big as your typical bourbon. It smells youthful on the nose, and yet it doesn't have the green notes of a white dog. And some really young bourbons can seem like a little over woody, you know, as if you took a, a planer and you just peeled off uh, some wood off of a, a, a two by four and put it into the whiskey, it doesn't have those. So it does seem youthful and yet it doesn't have some of the flaws that I've come across in extremely youthful uh, bourbons that had, haven't spent enough time in oak or weren't in a warm enough climate to really get the maturation that they should have. So if I was being blinded on this, I would probably think, definitely think that this is a bourbon. However, it is, spent some time, uh, did spend some time in uh, Montiato Stave. Am I getting anything from the Montiato? Difficult is you can get some nuttiness in a bourbon or something like a bourbon and get a nuttiness from a Montiato. So I do get a little bit of nuttiness there, a little bit of say hazelnut, but I don't know if it's coming from uh, the oak cast, or is it coming from the Amontillado? It could come from either one of them. Or just come from the, the basic spirit in the light whiskey. I'd say it's medium intense, smells slightly sweet, typical bourbon notes, a little, little bit of apple pie, 
caramel, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, and a hint of woodiness. And a little bit of nuttiness as well on the palate. It tastes youthful, but not overly so. It doesn't have the flaws of a really youthful uh, bourbon. Get the corn up front, sort of a caramel corn, vanilla, apple pie, cinnamon, nutmeg. Doesn't have a huge transition uh, throughout the palate. Slightly sweet up front. It feels light, even though it's at uh, you know 55% ABV. I'm not getting anything that is distinctively from an Amontillado sherry cask or any sherry cask. I would never in a million years guess that this spent any time in a sherry cask or had sherry staves. It's an all right whiskey. Medium sweetness, sort of medium bodied. Same in the front and the middle end of the finish. Good medium, medium plus length finish. It dries a little bit towards the back, but I think it still is predominantly sweet through and through. What would I give it a score? I'm gonna go an 85 points, 85 points. Um, it's just an okay substitute, essentially, for a bourbon. What would I like to see on it to be more impressive? I'd like for it to have a, a greater sherry cask influence to, to it, you know? I'd like more development, more depth, and more breadth. It's fairly simple. It's not bad, it's good, it's an okay whiskey. I'm just not super impressed with it. Not sorry I bought it, but for the purpose of studying sherry and sherry cask finished whiskeys, um, I would say this, not, this wouldn't fit the bill. If I was gonna teach a class on sherry and sherry cask finished whiskeys and I wanted really good examples uh, to share, this would not be uh, on my list for an Amontillado cask. Alrighty, if you like watching my content but you've not yet subscribed, I'd ask you to subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I go live, and if you're one of my patrons, I wanna thank you very much for supporting this work. Until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.